If you were in trouble, don't disparage. We're back with you and surprise my marriage. Happy New Year. It's 2020. Woo woo. My name is Logan. This is my wife, I'm Jennifer. Jen. She can't con she can't contain no, herself. No, our kids are she... looking down the hallway at us thinking like, what is going on? Anyway, we are back with you. We took a little hiatus during Advent and Christmas mm -hmm. to take some time to reflect on our personal life. Mm -hmm. So we are now life. all yours again. And uh, look, new new year, new beginning. We have blinds as a background. Oh gosh, We're okay. mobile, so you know. So anyway, we're moving stop, around. stop. Okay, so on Monday, our challenge was to set simple goals for the year together. So we're kind of going to talk about what we plan on doing. Although I will say, I've realized that making goals for the year doesn't always work that well because things change like really quickly. Like just looking at last year. Our life changed a lot halfway through the year, and the goals we made at the beginning of the year didn't really work halfway through, so what? Raise your hand if you've ever made a New Year's resolution and it lasted only a couple of days. That's everybody, babe. No, well, no. Okay. <laughs> Not everybody. <laughs> so anyway, if you want to choose, this is what we're doing, is we're going to make a goal every three months. So that is what we're going to do. But if you want to make like an overall goal for the year, that's good too. Yeah, so. but the three months makes it a little bit more attainable. Right. And right. realistic. Right. And then if and things change in three months, like if someone gets really sick or just, you never know what's going to happen. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So our goal for these next three months, <laughs> Logan's really thrilled about this. <laughs> it's to read a book that we said we would read last year. It's you see how we did not read it last year. Well, I know, yeah, cool, because we were reading other books, and we just kind of got, like, tapped out with the reading books together, so. But the book is called Three Secrets to Holiness, and it's like a 30-day self-retreat for your marriage, so. Even though that only takes 33 days, it's still going to be our goal for these three months, because it might take us, like, a month to actually start it. That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so just remember, as you tackle this new year... I don't know where I was going with this. Oh my gosh. All right, well, next thing, this is actually for the year. We Last year, we picked a saint of the year for oh, our yeah. marriage. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do that now here in this video. Oh, uh, but real quick, before we pick a saint together using Chin's phone, yep. um, we decided to do a saint for ourselves mm -hmm. um, last night. Oh, we, so we're, we're sharing this? We can share it. <laughs> okay. we'll, share, we'll share it before we get, <laughs> it's called the build up, babe. Okay. All right, so anyway. Yeah, we did. Uh, we we stopped individually. And well, took he the time. did it by himself without telling me, and then he came up with it on his phone. It was like I picked my saint. I'm like, what? Anyway. So yeah, we take the time, we say a little prayer, and then there's a website, Saint Name Generator. SaintsNameGenerator.com. We'll put it below. Yes, and you hit cert or pick my saint, and the saint pops up. And usually, God has a funny way of laughing mm -hmm, at, mm -hmm, at mm -hmm. it and showing, mm -hmm. ha, 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 this mm -hmm. is what you need right now. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we've done many of good saints. And last night, my saint was, again, a girl saint. It seems like every time I hit the saint name generator, a girl saint pops up. But anyway, it was Saint Maria Goretti. Did I say that right? Yes. Yes. And she is the patron saint of numerous things. One of them is girls. Which, if you know us, we have three boys, and so... Hmm. <laughs> and he wants a girl very badly. <laughs> yeah, I need to balance out that crazy over there. Oh, my gosh. Um, so, yeah, among other things, uh, so girls it, are one of them. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. And second thing, let's let's do a little little background here. What? Um, about your... About, oh, well, okay, oh, no. Okay. Well, so then Logan was all, like, excited about his saints. I'm like, well, I'm going to go do a million. And he was like, okay, go pray. So I went, and I sat, and I prayed. This is really... I wasn't going to share this. It's kind of personal. Anyway, I basically told God that I didn't know what 2020 was going to look like, whether it was just going to be enjoying our three boys now or welcoming a new baby into the family because we've been open to that for a while now. I mean, I just... I don't know what it's going to look like. Um, so I basically told God, like... Oops, sorry. Just introduce me to the friend, to a friend that will help me. And I sat there in silence because that's what Logan told me to do. And I felt God telling me, this one is special. She will help you. And at first I was like, 
why would God like say this one's special unless it was like Mary? But I didn't. I was like, but God wouldn't really like give me Mary. Well, pause now. Let's take okay. a commercial break <laughs> and wait to build up the anticipation of where this is going. What? Okay. Boop, 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 boop. What? All right, back. All right. Okay. You gotta keep them going. Stop. Okay. So then I picked my saint, and it was Our Lady of Guadalupe. Hmm. Who I love, and our church has like a big devotion to her and is building a chapel for her. And I, she's like been, I mean, and it's Mary. Like, we love her. And we've been growing in our relationship with Mary together over the last couple of years. And it's just, oh my gosh, it's perfect. And yeah. So this should be a fun year. So now, in front of, <laughs> uh, front of all those who would choose to watch, we will do a live version of our Pick a Saint yeah. To for a saint for us together. Right. But we're going to pray with... We're going to pray right now in front of you. Which might be kind of weird, but that's okay. This this is kind of weird. That's okay. Let's just do it. Let's just do okay. it. Okay. Lord, please send us your Holy Spirit and guide us to showing us a saint or a special person to guide us through our marriage and to grow us and bring us stronger... To with, pray for us. Pray for us. Sorry. <laughs> I'm working here, okay? I'm distracted by kids and praying in front of a live audience. That's not live. Uh, oh my gosh. And, yeah, as you did last year, help us to connect with someone that is a good example of your word and can help us better in our marriage. Just ask for the perfect friend to help us grow in our marriage together and our relationship with you. Amen. Amen. Okay. Sorry, that's a little awkward because, <laughs> you know, usually I'm not put on the spot like that. <laughs> Prayer doesn't have to be perfect. So anyway, we have the Saint, the Saint website up, so we're going to press the button and reveal to you what happens. Did, did you press it? No. Oh, okay. Well, we got... That's it. We need what? to press it at the same time. Marriage. Okay. One, two, three. I didn't. One, two, three. Oh, oh I can't press it first. <laughs> How do you say that? <laughs> Saint Sigismund of Burgundy. Which is funny because he's patron of against fever, which all of our which kids are Which we've been fever. dealing with fever for like three weeks now. Um, two weeks. Yes, there you go. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Never heard of this person, but... We will get to know this person. So, there you go. We're also going to choose a word of the year. So The website does that too? She has a different website. So oh. we'll put these links below. But it's Jennifer Fulwiler, um created these. The word of the year is pretty new. But the Saints Name Generator site has been here for a few years. Because I've been picking a Saint of the Year for several years now. And it's always been really cool. So, okay. Now the word of the year. Have an inspirational word chosen for you at random. I've actually been picking a word of the year for several years, but I was picking them myself. But then she came out with this. It must have been last year. Maybe. I don't remember when she came out with this one. But anyway, I like the word of the year because it, I don't know, it gives you like a sense of direction in a way. Yeah. So we're going to, uh, we should have added that in our prayer to like pick this, the word of the year. Anyway. We're pressing it. This okay, time. we're pressing it. It's loading. Hmm. Show. Just show. Story. Huh. I like it. I like it too. I like it too. And it's, hmm. you can be part of it at home because you're part of our story. Yeah, I've kind of been feeling a sense of like sharing our story more. So, kids. They're part of our story, so that's kind of appropriate. <laughs> so anyway, what else are we going to say? I don't know. Our kids are kind of losing their mind a little bit, so we're going to wrap this up real quick. Go pick a saint of the year and a word of the year, and let us know what you got. And remember, start simple on your, on your goals, goals together. and Hold each other accountable. Okay. See you next time.